In this video, I want to show you how to make a view within your SQL Server database. A view is more of a permanent part of your database and can actually be accessed in other select statements. When you run a normal query, let's open up a normal query. I'll say file open and we'll pick on file. And we'll use one of the files that we made in one of the previous videos. Um, this one will be fine. So when I run this, it's just kind of a one-timer and it's not really a permanent part of the database. I have to keep on opening up that file when I want to get to that code. Uh, so I want to show you how we can make this into a view and a view would be a permanent part of the database. If I expand my tables over here on the left, then we see a list of the tables that are in the database. And then notice how we have another section that says views. Notice how I have one that's called DB orders over 500. So if I right click on that and say select the top 1000 rows, then it'll show me all of the orders that are over $500 in this case, okay? So let's see how you would actually go about making that view. Now I'm gonna go back to our code here and I'm gonna highlight that whole select statement. By the way, views can only contain um, select statements. Of course, there's other kind of statements in your SQL, but a view can only uh, contain select statements. Now, later on, I'll make another video about stored, uh, about stored procedures. And a stored procedure can hold any kind of uh, SQL statement, but a view can really only hold a, um, the select statements and any variation thereof. So I'm gonna copy that code. Now I'll make a new view. So I'm gonna right click where it says views and I'll pick on new view. And now we're on this window. Now you could make a, a, a view from scratch and I'll show you how to do that very soon. But in this case, I'll pick on close and I'm just gonna go ahead and paste in the, uh, the code that I just copied in. So I'll do a paste. Good. So now if I just click away from that, maybe I can click over here, it'll actually build the, uh, the the view for me. Once you have that, of course, you could change it from here even further, but let's start from the simple one. I'm going to close that window. Now it says, do you want to save the view? And I will say yes. And you want to give that a good name. So this one will be orders um, that, are, that are less than 500 in this case. And I'll pick on OK. It might give you a message here. In this case, that'll be fine. I'll click on OK. Now notice, uh, I'm gonna refresh my views over here. So I'll right click on the word views and I'll pick on refresh. And now notice how the new view is there, is there as well. So if I right click on that, I can say select 1000 rows and then we'll see all the records that are in this case less than $500. I can actually use that view in another select statement. For example, let's make a new query. And I'll say select star from, and then I can say uh, orders that Now, in this case, if I want to have that, I want to really put that in quotes, I would imagine. So, say orders Let me paste that name in. So, I'm going to right click, I'll pick on um, rename, then do a copy. I just did control C. Now, I'll come up here. And maybe we'll put that in quotes. I put that in quotes because it has spaces in there. What I'm trying to show you is that I can use a view in another select statement, and that and that's fine. I could I could add criteria from there and everything else, of course. But now that view is a permanent part of the database. So what I did was I had a, an existing query. I just copied that code, and then I, I made a new view from there. Let's make a new view from scratch. I'm going to right click where it says view and I'll pick on new view. 
Now in this time, we'll use the customers table. I'll double click on customers and I'll double click on orders. And I'll pick on close. Of course, you could pick as many as you wanted to from there. Now we're going to join the, uh, the two tables on the customer ID. So I'll pick on customer ID and drag it to the customer ID over there. And that'll make a join. Now you can change it to a different types of join. Right now it's an inner join. I can right click on that uh, diamond and uh, this would be a, a um, left adder join and this would be a right adder join. Okay, so you can choose those as well, but this will be fine. Now you're just gonna pick some fields and notice how it's building my select statement down here. Let's say I wanna sort it by company name. So I'll pick on the sort for the ascending for the company name. And within company name, we'll sort it by the order date. So I just chose that field. And for the order date, we'll come down here and we'll say, make that a descending. And then what will happen will be the, the custom world will be sort number one. And um, the order date will be sort number two. That'll be the secondary sort field. And let's say I just want the ones that are over $500. You know, once again, we'll use that kind of example. So I'll pick on order amount. And then if I wanted to add some criteria here, that's what the word filter means. I'll say greater than 500. Now you can see how it built the select statement. It has the select statement. The from is the table name. In this case, we have the inner join for the two tables. The where is the criteria and the order by is going to be the um, is going to be the criteria. Now you can use the uh, this inner screen to help you do sorts and filters, or you can just type in the code down here. The point here is we're making a view. So I'm going to close that window. We'll save it. And we'll say customers and orders um, over 500. And uh, we'll pick on OK. That'll be fine. And now notice how when I refresh my views, then that view is now in there as well. So a view is a permanent part of your SQL Server database. And that now can be used in other select statements and referred to it, uh, you know, as a permanent part, just like any other table at this point. So um, you can make a view just by copying the code from a, uh, an existing query and then pasting that into that uh, into the new view screen, or you can make the view from scratch. Hopefully you got some tips on how to do that.